Hi, that was the first few bars of Beethoven's Ode to Joy played using what we call drop two voicings and that's the subject of this tutorial. In this series so far I've explained first of all what Barry Harris called the major sixth diminished scale. Now if you're not familiar with that I, I would watch the other videos in the series first but I'll just do a brief recap here. If we take a major scale say C major and add one extra note, G sharp, we get an eight note scale, which Barry Harris called the major sixth diminished scale. Now, I just want to clarify something that might be confusing. First of all, that same scale is often known as well as a bebop major scale. Usually when that name is used, we're talking about using the scale in an improvised line, which is not the subject of this tutorial. The other thing I want to clarify is that there is a scale which is simply called a diminished scale, um, also known as a whole step, half step scale. And that's when you take a diminished seventh chord, say C diminished seventh, and approach each chord note from a semitone below. So C, the next chord note is E flat, approach it semitone below D, G flat is the next chord note, approach that from the semitone below F and so on. And we end up with that scale, which is the diminished scale, or as I said, whole, whole step, half step, because it alternates whole steps, half steps, whole steps, half steps. That is not the subject of this tutorial, but I just wanted to mention it because I thought it can be some sometimes get confused with the major sixth diminished scale. I also explained how Barry Harris showed us how to harmonize this scale by alternating sixth chords with diminished seventh chords. So with the right hand, if you just simply play up the notes of the C major scale with your little finger and on the uh, uh, Fill in the notes of the C major 6th chord underneath the first note C. So there's your C major 6th chord, C, E, G and A. Took those three notes under the little finger and then on the next note play a diminished 7th chord, major 6th chord, diminished 7th. Just keep alternating all the way up. Okay, now... That voicing is what we call a four-way close voicing and it's a very useful voicing that is used by arrangers an awful lot. It sounds great for saxes, trumpets, voices, etc. What I did in the first videos was also with the left hand to double the top note each time an octave lower. Now that gives you what we call block chords, which are also often referred to as locked hands. Very confusing when all these different terms are used for the same thing. Um, you'll also hear people talking about shearing voices, which is the same thing. It's these block chords. That's because the jazz pianist George Shearing used to use those voicings a lot. Now, in drop two voicings, we play fewer notes. Let's take the first four-way close voicing and take the next to the top note out, the A, and play that with the left hand. So before, in the locked hands or block chords, we had the right hand playing four notes, left hand one. Now we've just got the right hand playing three notes, the left hand one and we get a more spaced out sound. So this hasn't altered the harmony in any way, it's the same chords, but it does change the sound a bit and it's a more kind of contemporary sound and the notes are spread out more using more of the piano. Mark Levine wrote uh, a good book just about drop two voicings, by the way. That's well worth a read. 
So let's look at the lead sheet for the first few bars of Ode to Joy. Now that was in the key of F major. So we're, we're using the F major diminished scale, which is an F major scale with one added note, C sharp. The extra note goes in between the fifth and sixth notes of this scale. And we would harmonize that major sixth, diminished seventh, and so on. And in drop two, we would take the four way close, take the first, the next to the top note rather, out, play an octave lower, and so on. Now, what I've done on the lead sheet is I've marked the notes which are harmony notes or chord notes. So it, the tune starts on the third of an F chord. Then we've got a passing note, and that's where we put the diminished seventh chord in. Chord note, chord note again, passing note, so that's diminished seventh chord note, passing note, passing note, I'm, I'm just talking any of the notes that pass in between two chord notes a third apart, and they're all harmonised with the diminished seventh chords. So in block chords, that would be like this. C, uh, sorry, F major 6, diminished 7th, F major 6, diminished 7th, F major 6, diminished 7, and so on. So we just simply take the four-way close voicing of the right hand, remove the next to the top note, in this case F, play an octave lower, same thing on the diminished seventh chord next to the top note, down the octave, and so on. That kind of uh, voicing is very useful to play when you've got a, a, a standard that begins with a melody that moves by steps. You certainly wouldn't want to use it all the way through, by the way. Um, you can use it, you know, in odd places in the middle. It just provides a bit of a contrast. And you can use it an awful lot to create movement within a chord, which is going to be the subject of another video. Uh, I hope you found that useful. If you did and you haven't subscribed so far, uh, it really does help me if you do. And if you can give the video a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.